what's up? This is PK for Almost Inevitable Design and I've put together a course. Uh, it's a course about making Divi uh, more responsive. And the reason why I do this is because I've, I've used Divi for a while. I've been using Elegant Themes before they had Divi. I've probably used them for about nine or eight years. So yeah, I, I, know, I know Divi. I've used Divi a lot. A lot of the responsiveness is not how I would make them and it's, it's it, the reason is because it, it needs a default of course but contextually some content could be better if it was presented differently right and also I know it has a Windows XP yeah so this is actually pretty large if you think about it it's actually pretty big and then you get like the huge blurbs where they're just like 100% full width and they just sometimes uh, it might not be the best way to have the uh, iPad portrait look like the, um, uh, the phone. So that's just one example. There's a lot of other examples where you could tweak the responsiveness of Divi to make it um, fit your content or to make it present your content better, which is the most important thing, presenting your content in the best, uh, most well-intended way contextually is what you need to do as a web developer and a designer, right? This course focuses on making uh, Divi uh, present itself at its best on every screen size. There's a lot of things we're gonna cover. You're gonna learn some CSS. Of course, you have to. And you're not gonna use a lot of the module options because uh, they're limited, which is why Divi is limited. Of course, I don't know what's gonna happen later, but at the moment, that's how it is. Controlling everything by code is the, the best way, right? So yeah, I think so. Anyways, so I'm gonna go through everything. Well, not everything, but a crash course of exactly what you need, which really, just a couple things, really helps a lot. And if you've been sort of lost, sort of understand, but sometimes lost with CSS, this course definitely helps. Definitely helps because it'll just uh, set the rules properly and you'll know what you're doing. Okay, and uh, we're gonna learn how to build a core, uh, build responsively so um, later you can control everything with your CSS and that's very important. Otherwise, you're gonna be at the mercy of what Divi does and you can't always do that, right? So that's why we're doing this. One of the cool things you can do is if you go to a contact page and this works really well with local businesses and all that. So um, you can scroll down, I'll show you. So there's a separate button that shows only on mobile. And if you press that button, you go to Google Maps and it starts navigating the way to that address. And you just press start and you're on your way. Like that. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool, right? There's a lot of ideas that I've had uh, concerning mobile and a lot of ways of hacking or uh, using Divi to do things that it normally did not do but would be great if you could and I come up with a lot of ways that you can do that. Now the regular lectures that you see are not me talking to a camera because you don't need to see me talking to the camera the whole time. What you need to see is the screen and me typing. Now you don't need to see me typing but you need to see the screen so I'm gonna get screen grabs of everything that I'm doing while I'm talking to you and that's a lot of content. You're gonna get over eight hours of that. That's a lot of content. Uh, you're also gonna get uh, six months access to a forum where you can ask questions and have them answered directly by me. Maybe if some other user can answer them, that's great, but uh, I, I will be monitoring the forums all the time. You will also get a separate child theme. Oh, I should put text here, child theme. You get, you're gonna get a child theme. Um, what the child theme does is it actually is a really nice starter theme. So it doesn't, it doesn't have any other specific styling. You can do that on your own, but it has, what it does have is it has a set, the set of uh, improvements to Divi and its uh, default behavior. A lot of the improvements you can add easily, you can take out easily. You're not deleting the code. What you're doing is just adding one class and that'll just respond accordingly. And that's what we're doing. Just type in one word and it'll just do exactly what we want it to do. It's all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna learn all that. We're gonna learn how to build like that. 
Uh, so your websites are going to be way better than your competition, unless your competition takes this course as well, and then it's up to you on how you use it. I don't know. You're really going to like this course if you wanted to ever improve your mobile responsiveness of your websites. If you ever wanted to make your websites appeal to the client and you can say, hey, my websites can do this, That's, that could be a selling point. There's a lot of things you can do with these ideas. Uh, I hope you gain a lot from this. Oh, updates, updates. Updates to Divi, updates to WordPress. I'm on top of it. I'll keep updating everything. That means that if there is a significant update that changes anything that we've, uh, we've learned, then I will add an update so you can learn the most uh, recent current uh, codes or practices. I, I think that's about it. Oh, about myself. So my name is PK and I live here in Australia at the moment. I don't speak Australian English because I grew up in America, so that's why I speak uh, American English. I work around here at a design agency, which is really cool. They do great design and I love working with them. I'm very proud to be working with them. Um, and we only use Divi. Well, because of me, they <laughs> company uses Divi now. Uh, all our builds are Divi and they're really, really nice, I think. And they respond really well because everybody just goes on all their devices and we all check and somebody finds a way to break the website. And I'm like, oh, and then I fix that. And then somebody breaks the website again. And I'm like, oh, and then I fix that again. So um, the things that I'm showing you, the same things that I'm teaching you are all things that I've gained from having broken websites, a lot of broken websites, and fixing them and making them look great on every device. So it, it took a lot of work. So that's what I'm presenting to you. Hope you like this course and hope this inspires you to create something awesome on mobile. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email, shoot me a message, anything to get a hold of me, and uh, we'll work things out and I'll answer your questions and we'll see where we go from there. Okay? All right, cool. So enjoy the course, enjoy learning a uh, new world of mobile responsiveness, and I will maybe see you in the courses. Well, not see you because my fit on screen, but you'll hear my voice in some of the courses, in all the courses. Yeah. All right, so have a great day.